Since your Lord Dragon suggested this video on how to config Mugen, booting up. Hey folks, Slayer, it's your boy DG Slayer here, and I'm about to teach you on how to config Mugen. Consider subscribing for more weird content like this. First thing what you want to do is open up your Mugen file, click on Mugen, and it might happen instantly, it might not. So, while you're waiting for actually Mugen to actually wait, and there we go. Then you want to actually scroll down to actual options, click enter. Then you want to scroll down to actual input config Mugen. And once you actually do that, you enter that, click on key config, and you want to press F1. You want to press F2 if you want to go on player 2. So click F1 if you're going on player 1. Then you get to do anything in actuality. So let's do this. And, oh, well, let me just be serious. Let's go on A, S, and D. And just put F, G, H, and R, T, Y, and put left shift as a start. And you can click F3, F3 to go actual defaults and F4 on player 2 to go to actual defaults on actual player 2. So let's click escape. Click escape once more. And click escape. I'm not really sure if this works for you. And post it in the comments down below. If it didn't work for I can actually help you. Or more suggestions to do what next on Mugen. But as you can see, it's actually working for me right now. And I click left shift to actual exit. Or actual left shift to actual enter. My bad. And with that, there's another option as well. And with that option, you want to open, or not open, but go on to actual settings. Open up settings. And go on to actual devices. And you get to actually play Mugen with the actual remote. Let me show you how to do that right now. So first thing what you want to do is grab a remote and which I'm about to grab an Xbox controller and let me give me a second right here as I unplug my actual keyboard because it ain't gonna work if you actually have your keyboard in are installed or otherwise plugged in so let me unplug it and actually see if it actually works or do a, a test if it actually works and there we go, it actually works, and actually working properly now. And you don't want to actually mess with it, or if you're working with an Xbox like me, as you can see the Xbox Candy gamepad for Xbox 360. You want to actually mess with it once it's actually inputting, or mess with any, any of the wires, or once you're plugging in. And if it doesn't work, you want to keep on plugging it in, and do not mess with it. But sometimes you're going to have to plug something else into the USB, for the actually controller can actually work and let's go back and actually open up Mugen once more once again and I was waiting for that how was you guys day it was pretty good hmm that was pretty good too <laughs> well you know it, it yeah I understand but it was pretty good my day was pretty good, and let's all have a pretty good day. And don't forget to consider subscribing for more weird content like this. So now you want to actually scroll down with your actually remote re plugged in. And if it's not working, you want to switch back to the keyboard and actually scroll down. And let me wait for this. And you want to go back to options, go on input config. As you can see, actually option enabled for actual config, actual joystick, and you want to enable that. And once you do that, it's actually about to show joystick config. And plus, you gotta have actual your remote plugged in. If it doesn't work, you have to plug it back in with the USB on your remote for it can actually show this. And if you're confused, just comment down below to actually for I can actually explain it to you. So when I hit joystick config not key 
key config, you want to click joystick config. So once you do that, you actually want to go to joystick config. Hit that. And now you have these settings. <laughs> so you want to click F1 on your keyboard. You actually start configuring. And let's just go with up, down, left, right. And because it's Xbox, let's go with A for A, B for B, and Y for C, and X for X, and Y for Y, and Z, just put that as R1, and put start as L2. And there we go. Once you're done with that, I'm going to unplug the actual remote. And once you replug your keyboard, you want to wait for that to boot up because you can actually mess up the keyboard, but not as much as the remote. You want to hit escape, hit escape once more, and hit escape once more. And now you get to truly test it. So let's test for the actual remote. And with that, it actually truly works, as you can see. And if I press A, it goes on. And I get to actually choose it, select, or whatever character I want. So yeah. That's basically on actually how you actually config Mugen. So with that guys. And actually consider the subscribing. On the left hand side, on the right hand side. Consider subscribing of hitting that little thing. That little circle that says DTD. And you'll see a playlist or a suggested video for you at the bottom and at the top is the playlist click that playlist if you want more Mugen tutorials or actually the whole playlist of them for you can actually choose what you actually want so with that bye Phil Slayers bye and see you next time